This week we're going to do the beautiful Viennese waltz. James is such a romantic dancer, I'm really looking forward to this. The waltz we did before was much slower and you could sustain it and control it, but I think this one's going to be such a whirlwind. But it's movie week, and movie week's going to be fun. Tonight is all about who should get through to next week's semi-final. And on that performance, I'll see you next week. These are the moments I look forward to the most on Strictly, when you get the perfect song, the perfect dress, the perfect choreography, and perfectly danced. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Thank you very much. Please welcome Pamela and James. <laughs> Look at you. First 40 of the competition. So exciting. Are you still deaf from my screaming? Sorry? <laughs> In a word. But you know what? Who looked happier out of the two of you was you. You fell to the floor, James Jordan. Well, I've never had a 10 off of Craig before. Well, I've never had a 10... Ever. Since I danced with yeah. Pamela, but yeah. um, it, you know, if if Craig gets his ten out, basically it's going to have cobwebs on it. So yeah. it was it meant a lot because he is the harshest judge out of all of them. And if Craig gives a ten, then you normally know you're going to get forty. So I was very very happy. Really, he yeah. didn't know that. He said yesterday. He said he was unsure. It's like because he wasn't. He just really doesn't give them out. Well, he nearly might not give another one. He was sort of. But he said it was just flawless. While you were doing it, Pamela, you looked completely lost in the dance. Did you almost forget about the audience? Because people say, dancers tell me, once that happens, magic happens. I was completely lost, completely lost. And when I ended up and I was down on the floor, because I was really trying to meet, put the emotion together with the, the dance, and, and I sort of kind of woke up and realised that there were people around me um, on, on their feet. Did you fall asleep? And, no, I was not asleep, oh. James. <laughs> Um, but they were so warm and so lovely. It was, it, I was really very moved by their reaction. It was lovely. People were very emotional about it. When you were doing uh, the dance, whether it was the rehearsal or in the training room or when you were doing the actual dance, James, did you think, do you know what, this is, this is going to be it, this is going to be the one? Definitely not during rehearsal. I did say to Pamela that it was very understated and we're going for an emotional dance this week because Pamela always likes me to challenge her with all the choreography, but I said the music wasn't asking for that. We need to go for romance. I would say not until I saw Pamela's dress, Tommy singing the song, yeah. and as, as Alicia said, everything came together in, in one moment. The lighting, the camera shots, everything made that dance. It wasn't just the dancing and, and everything. It, it was, is true. It was everything. It, it was Hair, very much makeup. the team, the team um, that really made it work so, yeah. so well. It was... It was um, it was amazing. It was absolutely magical to watch. It was uh, your birthday. We think we know the answer to your energy and general oh. joy in life. Have it's a look. It's tiring. It's youthening. I mean, it makes me feel younger and, and happier. If you want to feel younger and more energised, what you need is Granny's Go Go Glitter. <laughs> in your 60s, you can be vital and capable. You can lift a man half your age. Oh, yeah. Granny's got you back. I have to still sometimes remind myself that she is 61, and it's really hard to do that sometimes because she gives me everything, and it's fabulous. It's <laughs> a problem with these young people. Can't keep up with us old guys. I think it's phenomenal. It's amazing. Wow. With Granny's Go Go Glitter, you'll be behaving like a teenager in no time. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> She's a little kid, isn't she? Like a 12 year old. Be careful. Hey, remember, we don't want Granny falling on the floor. Statements are based on the satisfaction of one customer. Results may vary. Not currently available in stores. <laughs> I love the fact I'd, ne I'd never seen you actually throw water in his face before. It's my favourite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally... She I'm coming to the final. So I'm finally having energy. a massive water fight. <laughs> uh, James, I, I taught him a new phrase. He's not allowed to say the O word. He's not allowed to say old anymore. What do you have to say instead? Chronologically challenged. <laughs> no! Oh. Chron that would be... Chronologically 
Advantage. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> very lovely. Uh, but now, let's look ahead. You've got three dances this week. Also, uh. quite... I don't want to say they're quite difficult ones because they're so different. You've got the Paso and you've got the Quick Step and the Swingathon. First up, the Paso and the Quick Step. How are you feeling about them? They are both very challenging. Um, Paso, just all those shapes, all the, the Spanishness, I mean, yeah. the, the, whole, the posture of it, very, very tough. It's a tough one to, especially to have to combine with the others. What tactics are you going to use in the Swingathon, James? Because you, you, now you'll really want to get through. I know you will. What's the key? Butter on other people's shoes? Yeah, as long as I don't cry before we get to that point. But um, I, I'm obviously, I've been competing for many years. And now the rugby boy and, and Scott, yeah. he thinks he's a little bit of a tough guy as well. They're on my turf yeah. when on the dance floor. So I will be tripping them up. Okay. The odd I'm little scared. nudge. I'm really scared. Yeah. I'm suddenly scared Cast as well. oil inside this their shoes instead so of on the badly. outside. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> let me say good luck with that. But I have to move on to another thing. Because every year on It Takes Two, we do a Strictly Pro Challenge. Last oh, year, no. James won. <laughs> this year, it's got something to do with the piano. How do you think you did? Awful. Okay. Absolutely awful. Interesting you say that. So let's have a look. Watch the screen Step on the right note at the right time and gain points Miss or step on the wrong note and lose points Music maestro What the hell is this? Oh no, this doesn't look fun If it was something physical, mentally challenging, your winner's standing here Musical instruments, I don't have a clue I just want to beat Brendan, C I should have been good at music. Oh no. Uh, uh. That's silly, isn't it? Not happy. I hate being bad at things. I don't know what the keys are. And they were all coming down so fast. I knew what the song was after a while because I did manage to string a couple of notes together. If someone is worse than me, then, sorry, then they're just useless. OK, you're just awful. shaking your head. Katia got 42. Should, uh, are you ready to see how really you did? No. I think I think it might be time. Here we go. Here's your score. <laughs> Katya Here's where you are on many? the leaderboard. 42? <laughs> How can you get 42? I didn't get anything right. Well, she got less right. I'm oh. going to be honest with you. I'm going to be frank. Um, How is that possible? Never mind that. Uh, guys, good luck with your 9 million dances. Thank yeah, you so thank much you for coming much. in. Thank you, Pamela and James. Thank you.